Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys a few different exercises to do in a difficult pandemic time like this that'll kind of ease whatever feelings you have going on. Um, first, of course, you always wanna stretch out before an exercise. So a few simple stretches are like this. Move your arm all the way across, left arm all the way reaching opposite direction towards your right. You almost wanna make a hook with your other arm. You almost wanna punch your chin like this you're going to squeeze, and it's going to stretch out your tricep muscle right here, which is right below your shoulder. Anyways, you want to count to 10 or 20 seconds, at least 10, the longer the better, of course. And then you want to switch. So you want to do the same thing, reach your right arm all the way as far as you can to the right, and then you want to reach your opposite hand to your left hand, and you just want to punch your chin with it. You reach all the way to your chin. Again, stretch out for 20 seconds, at least 10. Okay, so those are arm stretch outs for your tricep muscles. The reason why I want to show you a tricep or a stretch in that manner is because we're going to do push-ups today. Okay, and push-ups are a good way to help work on your chest and your tricep and make you feel better. They release natural endorphins. Okay, so you want to do your chest all the way down, go all the way up. Most important part is to keep breathing. Okay, so you want to do at least 10 if you can, as many as you can. If you can't do these kind of push-ups, of course, you always put your knees on the floor like so. Cross your arm. I'm sorry, cross your feet, excuse me. And that kind of supports. The main part is you want to keep your core tight. Core being your muscles right here. Your stomach muscles. Again, this releases natural endorphins, which help um, with feelings that are you're feeling right now, I'm sure, which a lot of people are feeling, normally feel. Um, being inside all day and not having a way to work out. Another workout you can do for your legs is you almost want to kick your backside and this is working on your hamstring right here. And you want to hold the, your ankle, pull the back of your ankle, or I'm sorry, pull the front of your ankle to where your back of your foot is almost to where your back of your butt is. Let me just switch on over so you can see. You see my ankle, I can't quite do it yet, but that's okay, you want to get as far as possible. Get a little natural sweat in and then switch. So I'm getting my left arm, pulling my left leg, trying to get the back of my, my Achilles right here to where my backside is. And again, you want to do this. All stretches at least for 10 seconds minimum. Um, if you can do 20, even better. The more the better. Okay, so now as you guys see the simple push up, again, like so. <sighs> Chest all the way down. Most people know how to do a push up. You can do it like this, of course, cross your legs. Or should I say, cross your ankles, excuse me. Knees down. This is a little bit easier if you need to. If you want to go a difficult, difficult manner, you can put your feet on the couch. Um, another simple workout for your core is you want to put your back on the floor, knees up. Elbows, like so, and then this is a sit-up. Ah, most people can do a sit-up. If you have someone supporting your feet, as long as they're six feet apart from you, I'm just kidding. If you have someone supporting your feet, even better, or you can put a weight of some sort under your feet. Some people use the couch, or you don't have to use anything at all like I'm doing right now. Again, so this is a sit-up, a push-up, I've demonstrated you and a few simple stretches. You might be doing before and after. A lot of people believe that stretches are more important than exercises are. I believe they are important as well. The most important thing is exercise helps with everything. So thank you for watching my video. I hope this has taught you a little something. Have a nice day.